Today is a very, very important day in Birmingham's journey uh, for cleaner air uh, and Birmingham's journey to create a more equal society here in our city. The launch of the Clean Air Zone back in June was a really important day for us and I always said that was the start of our fight back against air pollution in Birmingham. So today we're launching the Clean Air Strategy which looks to go above and beyond the work of the Clean Air Zone and work with our citizens, work with our businesses, work with our schools and the wider communities to ensure that we're all doing everything possible and as individuals we're making those very small changes which will have a big impact in having clean air and safe neighbourhoods. With the rollout of the, uh, the air monitors uh, across the wards of this city and into schools across this city, that will help to drive forward the efforts that we're making to tackle air pollution and tackle a serious injustice that has held too many communities back in the city for far too long. Air pollution is becoming more dangerous, so at Lee Forest we're trying to educate our community of what we can do to help. I want to walk to school more and just walk short journeys in general, plant more trees and use public transport so that we don't have everyone's cars polluting the air. Cleaner air is a positive thing as there is an increasing danger to our planet. I pledge to support this by educating people more about cleaner air and I will also try and ask my teacher to educate me more about cleaner air. The children really want to get a badge at the end of each month to show that they've travelled to school in a healthy way. Children are getting more healthy, air around the school is getting cleaner because there are less cars. I'll be encouraging all our schools here to take up this campaign to clean up the air. As a school and a community, we're acutely aware of the dangers facing us from increased air pollution. And what we're doing as a school is thinking about how we can tackle that and what we can do as children, as teachers, to help educate our children, the families and the local community. My pledge as a deputy head teacher is to ensure that our curriculum provides those opportunities for our children so that they're aware of what they can do to improve the situation.